everyone. My name is Brianne Price, and I'm here with my twin flame, Adam, my true twin flame, Adam. We recently attained Harmonious Twin Flame Union, uh, January 9th of 2020, which was just last week. Uh, all of this is a result of being students of Jeff and Shalia um, and applying their teachings and being students of the work and uh, being in the class. And so we just want to share our story. And um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just go from there. But Adam, you want to start? <laughs> yeah, so um, I kind of randomly found, uh, found out about Twin Flames uh, just like on Pinterest scrolling. And I'm like, what's this? Uh, that sounds complicated, you know? Um, and it was about the same time where I um, felt that I was um, supposed to be with a woman, kind of accepting that fact that that was what was going to happen and embracing that in a way. And um, yeah, going through like that summer of 2017, I just felt like there's someone for me, like there's something. and. I was like, who is this person, you know, it was very, but I was too scared to go on YouTube to search for videos, like the first probably six months, because I felt like there was going to be a lot of uh, weird stuff. Um, but in October 2017, I was like, I have to, um, I have to search same sex twin flames, because I have read that um, they were not supposed to have a romantic relationship. And for me, that was like, no, I I desire that. So no, that doesn't sound right. So I found a video of uh, some students of Jeff and Julia and um, started coaching with them and joined the community shortly after. I think it was January 2018, actually. So I coached with them a bit before. Um, and yeah, I've been very dedicated ever since, uh, feeling like, um, yeah. I, th I thought that someone, when I came in, that someone was maybe, because there was one person that kind of awakened something in me like two years prior to like finding out about Twin Flames, but I feel like recently I, when I fell into it, it was more like uh, this person was a very masculine um, presenting woman. And it was more like how I wanted or how, yeah, like I could see myself attractive in that way. Mm. Makes sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So then I think around 2018, I kind of released that. Um, that this was the person as well, so I didn't know for a while. And then I met this person who is the false twin flame. Um, very like a lot of synchronicities and like you know a matching like what do you call it like timelines and all that stuff. Yeah. But yeah, um, but I guess there was always like a doubt as well. Um, like. Um, well, what if it's not, you know, I'm putting all this energy into one person and, and, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, but I thought this person was my twin flame until last week. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, yeah, I think you knew a little bit before last week, but we'll get into that. Oh yeah. True though. But yeah, yeah we'll get into that later. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Keep watching. Um, yes, keep watching. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll just share a little bit about my experience. So I found Jeff and Shalia in April or May of 2017. And I had woken up to the Twin Flame journey um, probably the beginning of 2016. And I did Google Twin Flames. And uh, I did watch like YouTube videos and all kinds of crazy stuff. Um, this was probably why I didn't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I did that. I took care of that part. I had to weed through all the, the BS. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah. So um, I tried like all of these different things and it felt like who, who I thought to be was my twin flame. It only seemed like this person kept getting farther and farther away from me, no matter, you know, what I did. And so when I found Jeff and Shalia, 
um, their YouTube videos, like it felt true in my heart. It felt right. And I was like, yes, it's them. So I immediately joined the school and uh, become a live student in Sunday's class. And I've been with them ever since and applied the teachings, but okay. Okay. So going back to, yeah, I'm getting stuck. <laughs> oh, that's fine. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, this was the truth for you for a long time, right? Yes. Yeah. It was um, with your twin flame. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Yeah, this was the truth for you for the longest time. Yeah, the, I knew this person since 2008, and we slowly developed a friendship. And then in 2000, probably 2014, 2015, I started um, developing feelings for this person. And um, it kind of escalated from there, where I confessed my feelings, and it kind of all blew up. And, and then I was like seeking help. And yeah, that's how I found the school. Mm -hmm. And I'm getting stuck here. <laughs> but that's okay though. I mean, yeah, yeah just breathe. Yeah. So yes, last week I found out that my two ton flame was Adam and I was very resistant to that. Mm -hmm. I, because I had, I had believed that this person that, you know, when I come to the school uh, for so long, I believe that this was my true twin flame. And so to find out that that was a false twin flame, it was very, I had a lot to process. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and it's funny because me and Adam, we met in the HR department um, for Twin Flames Universe. And when was that? When did you come to the HR department? No, basically I, I had a session with you uh, in the fall of, 2018 I think like mm -hmm. or winter ish I don't know like I felt like I should have a session with you and I remember I cried because I had so I was you know a mess I'm like I, I never cry in front of people <laughs> yeah <laughs> and then I think we had a session before I came into HR as well um mm -hmm. uh yeah um yeah and I came into HR in May of 2019 so yeah okay yeah that sounds about right yeah oh because we yes we thought you were soul family well you were confirmed as soul family a soul family brother yeah but this was kind of after toronto uh like okay. yeah so i think it was like august 4th i like it was revealed um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Keely has been very involved with all of this like she <laughs> I was in a session with her when uh, I claimed you guys as my soul family and uh, oh wow yeah yeah um yeah but then as we started deepening our relationship uh I was like wow this person here is me I have never met a person who's so much like me and um yeah like all these feelings that um strong feelings <laughs> so <laughs> yeah and we talked about this like we had calls we talked about like I just brought it up to you because I was like you know mm -hmm. I I just need to talk about this and mm -hmm. um yeah and we had a lot of like you know uh similarities like synchronicities and stuff you know um yeah with the timelines as well and like oh my god it's the yeah and we were working through the same stuff at the exact same time and all that and yeah you had coached me as well through the summer <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 and I realized too when I was coaching you um it's very natural to you know as a coach as you're moving through things or you've previously moved through uh, upsets and wounds like for your clients to be moving through the same thing. So that's very common. But with you, there was something different. It was almost like you were moving through it at the exact same time I was. Mm -hmm. And it was almost identical to what I was moving through. Yeah. And that kind of threw me off. And um, I think that that's, as it was revealed that you were soul family, I was like, okay, well, then that makes sense why yeah. we're relating so much in that way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I think as we kind of, yeah, like we had calls 
to talk about this kind of you know mm -hmm. but um yeah you were still very like no no this other person is my twin flame <laughs> no, i was me. yeah yeah uh, <laughs> but yeah but still uh you had this like attraction as well at that point so yeah, yeah. there was um there was a little um time frame in there that I did feel attraction and thought, Oh God, I'm going to leak my energy. And so I, I put up a boundary, a hard boundary. Yeah. And cause I, you know, cause what I believe to be my truth, I was going to honor that. Oh um, yeah. We're very, we're very much about the truth. We're yes. backing the truth. Yeah. Very, yeah. Very much. So definitely a core value. And so loyal as well. I think yeah. So, so yeah. <laughs> And I noticed too that as we got closer, we triggered one another. Oh, like very. Oh, mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> very easily. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it, that was rough. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, yeah. I just want to add, like, you know, I had to kind of, I don't know, close the door to this, like, in a way, kind of, okay. So this is not the truth, but like that felt awful as well doing that. Like that, yeah. What some feels, you know? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Do you have anything to add about like the summer and through like the? Um. Well, that was basically just the revealing of you being our soul family, and then yeah. that was kind of there was a. Yeah, because we, we brought Christy in, our other soul sister, and then you come along. You were the next one, and we brought both of you into HR, and I think that's just when everything started um, unfolding from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, all the triggering started happening and all of this stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was, yeah. It was interesting. Very interesting. So, yeah. And so... Uh, there was um, a time frame where Adam and I didn't talk. And I think that yeah. that was for, was it, was it for maybe one or two months just recently where you and I just yeah. talking? Yeah. I mean, like we had like some soul family calls, like, yeah. uh, like for the first, I don't know, kind of, it was like a month and a half where we kind of didn't talk in a way we, yeah. there was like, soul family upsets yeah yeah and yeah true but that all kind of made sense after <laughs> like, it did yeah on Thursday it made much more sense everything so mm -hmm. <clears throat> but uh yeah um yeah there was a lot to work through but uh I feel like everything had to unfold like that for us to uh get here um mm -hmm. because there was a lot of moving through a lot of upsets and blocks during mm -hmm. those uh, the, yeah the month and a half where we didn't talk basically mm -hmm. um, yeah it, so, yeah it was awful <laughs> so was so awful. last week when it was kind of when it was revealed to you that I was your twin flame although you you knew that in your heart already what did like you want to share share about that um yeah I woke up to the reveals of Christy, Jason, and uh, the other ones, and I'm like, oh, Brianna is my twin flame, shit. <laughs> <laughs> like, there was, like, a knowing, but I was still kind of doubting because I, I'm, it's... I want to insert something here real quick, too, like, for, like, for people that are watching, they're going to be like, who's, who's Chrissy and Jay? Oh, so, yeah, yeah. Okay. so Chrissy and Jay, they're live students of Twin Flame Ascension School, and they were also um, revealed as soul family. It was last year, last Christmas. So that would have been to that Christmas of 2018, right? 2018? Yeah. They were revealed yeah, to be soul yeah. family. Yeah. Around New Year's, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And so they've grown. Um, they've partnered together in their life purpose. And mm -hmm. that friendship really blossomed between the two of them. And come to find out, they also had uh, false twin flame experiences and it was revealed that they were actually true twin flames. So that's what Adam is speaking to when it was revealed, Hey, you're twin flames, you're in a harmonious union. Then yeah. that's when Adam had the, the awareness, but yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, I was on that uh, morning. I was kind of, 
uh, God kept giving me a lot of like songs and like, you know, um, it felt like something shifted in me. Like, I, I, it's hard to explain as well. Like I had to uh, take a drive because I had to go get groceries. And uh, I was like, so I started like crying in the car, like all kinds of emotions, like happy, sad, like everything, like just kind of coming up. And I was like, yeah, this is, this is it, you know? And then I had a session with like, yeah, like we both coach with Keely, mm-hmm. uh, who's also in Harmonious Union. And, <clears throat> yeah. Um, so I had a session with her like in my evening uh, that time. And I was just like a mess. I was just like, oh my God, like I think Brianna's my twin flame. And oh my God. Ah. <laughs> And uh, it was the whole, it was like a very peaceful session. But I was like, uh, kind of crying and just like releasing stuff. And um, yeah, kind of just going deeper and deeper. And, and uh, Keely uh, helped me uh, through that. And um, yeah, I never, like this piece I felt when I claimed you, like that was just, um, I just felt so peaceful doing that. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah so, I, so many emotions. I'm like, oh, uh, yeah, it's just, yeah, but it, it was just like, uh, yeah, there was so much love. I, I was just basically crying. I'm like, I love her so much. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That was basically me in the summer as well. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like the same feeling, but mm-hmm. it felt really peaceful. And, and um, yeah, uh, Keely really helped me there, like the kind of the next steps to do, because I was like, well, what do I do now? You know, you know, <laughs> I was like, yeah, so, and I had to message you. I'm like, we should talk. Yeah. And I, I knew like when you messaged me, when you said we need to talk, Actually, like when the the revealing of Chrissy and Jay, I automatically thought to myself, Adam is going to reach out to me because now he thinks that we're true twin flames. I I, I knew that like that <laughs> they think that was Tuesday night. Um, yeah. I could feel it, and um, yeah. So when I seen the message, we need to talk. I was like, oh boy, here we go. Now I got to tell this person that no, we're not true twin flames. <laughs> I'm not yeah. the one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so you were like, yeah, yeah, you're going to tell me we're twin flames, you believe we're twin flames. I'm like, I had to, like, take a moment because I'm, like, uh, yeah, but I I decided to be really, like, yes, I do believe so. Mm -hmm. And also, Keely has helped confirm it. Mm -hmm. And because I know, like, we take Keely very seriously, like, you know that's just how it is and I knew of course you would do that too so I knew I had to add that to that I, resisted. I, uh, I was yeah. like nope I need no, to talk yeah. to Jeff nope <laughs> yeah I know yeah yeah um yeah yeah but I also felt like the need to have like that confirmation but I think that mm-hmm. um it all resolved itself yeah uh, without that of course it yeah. was like the next day but yeah, but it was very, uh, um, uh, I don't know, uh, I felt like we should just talk about this. You were mm-hmm. like, I'm d- moving through things. <laughs> like, okay. Like, I, I was just moving had, through a lot of things. Yeah, and I felt like, yeah, I could, I barely sleep that night. I felt like every time I woke up, I just had to claim the truth and choose peace, like all the time, like over and over, like it was some kind of, just have to do this and mm-hmm. yeah and well basically I barely slept until like you know uh, well not yet <laughs> but, mm-hmm. <laughs> but a lot there. happening huh yeah it's been very intense for sure yeah yeah um, I can share yeah. like my side of it um yeah so yeah I also coach with Keely and I'm in also also her group class on Monday nights and um I knew I could intuitively feel that I was getting close to harmonious union for a while. No, not for a while now, but here recently, because I've really gone deep with my relationship with God. And, um, 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I was, I, I was like living, breathing God there. For, yes. Yeah, and it yeah. felt like I was coming to a crossroads to where I had gone to the point to where I needed my twin flame to go deeper with God. Like I could, I could really feel that. And, but I was looking around and I was like, but where is my twin flame? Like nothing is happening externally. Um, and so I also had this deep upset come up of fear of loss, um, which I could, I knew I was like, this is a, this is like a core block to my union. And my false twin flame was actually 20 years older than me. So I had a fear that, you know, one of my twin flame dies, like one of something happens. So Keely and Colby, they really helped me through that Monday night, of, which was of last week, um, the same week that all of this was revealed. They helped me clear that in the group. And I immediately felt this shift that night. And then the next morning I felt free. I felt like completely non-attached to whoever my twin flame was. And if it was this person that, you know, whom I believed it to be for so long, great. If not, then, you know, I was in a state of just peace. Um, and I want to say I continued to integrate that. And then maybe it was like the following day, um, I pick up, I don't have it with me now, but my twin flames finding your ultimate lover. I like to pick that book up and, you know, just flip to a page and let God reveal a message to me. And so I flipped to a page and I asked God to give me a message. And I flipped on the page of where you do the meditation to call your true twin flame in. And I immediately knew what God was guiding me to do. So I did that and I thought, okay, God's asking me to call in my true twin flame. And it's like, I'm completely non-attached right now. So I did the meditation. I actually did it twice. <laughs> I did the meditation. And, I think it worked. I think it worked. Yeah, it, it worked. Yes, I did it twice. Um, and I, I was just in a complete state of surrender. And I also remember there was like two days back to back where I could feel shifts happening inside of me. And there was almost like I had this immediate thought like, either I'm getting ready to step in a harmonious union or I'm already in harmonious union. But still I was like, where's, where's the person? Like, I'm very confused here. And it was a feeling of like, um, when I was in meditation, I could feel my harmonious union, like right in front of me, like I was getting ready to step into it, but there was still something that wasn't quite there yet. And yeah, on the flip side, all of this was being revealed to you or the truth, what you already knew was being confirmed. Yeah. Yeah. And we both knew it was number 22. Yes. That is another thing. Um, I don't even remember, but I asked God like months ago um, when the harmonious union started unfolding, I was like, God, uh, what number am I going to be? And God said number 22. And I was like, Oh gosh, that's pretty close. <laughs> I yeah. don't know, because nothing is really happening, but yeah, I yeah. surrendered to it. And you said that you received. Yeah, I, uh, on Thursday, I um, received 22. But I was like, how is this going to happen? She's so resistant. <laughs> I'm like, I don't know about that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was, um, although that I had released attachments, mm -hmm. there was still, or surrender, there was still a part of me that was attached to the, the person or the, the image yeah. of the person. Mm -hmm. um, so I really had to, there was a lot all at once, like, yeah. here's your so two much. twin flame, you got to yeah. let go of this person that you, you thought it was, mm -hmm. and um, I resisted. I resisted all night, the night that you didn't sleep. I wasn't sleeping either. I know, and I kept like, I choose peace. <laughs> I yeah. claimed the truth. So yeah. it's just like having like a mantra there to, yeah. 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 Um, I was being stubborn. And then um, Jeff reached out to me Thursday morning, I think it was, Thursday morning. And no, it was Friday morning. Oh, it was a Friday morning. Okay, thank yeah. you. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. The days have like, they're just like yeah, I know. merged together I now. I don't even know anymore. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I spoke with Jeff. Um, we had a little bit of dialogue back and forth. And Jeff asked me, he goes, um, what did you, I don't remember his, his exact wordings, but what, what did you, uh, what did you receive yesterday? 
uh, speaking in terms of, you know, you and Keely. And I said, well, the awareness of my true twin flame. Mm -hmm. And he goes, yes. And, and what else? And then I sat there for a second and I was like, well, I wrote, um, God, all of myself. And then I, uh, space, uh, harmonious, harmonious union and question mark. And just said, yes, con congratulations. And I was like, oh, wow. So <laughs> you're number 22. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Was, we were number 22 and immediately wrote you to let you know. <laughs> yeah. How did you Very, feel when I told you? It was, um, it was kind of, everything was kind of building up before that in a way, like something was happening. Like I felt like, you know, it was mm -hmm. kind of, uh, uh, yeah. I don't know. I think I, I don't even know. Like it was, everything just felt right in a way. I, I never felt this kind of peace before in my life. Like, I feel like there's a completeness that, that hasn't been there before. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Uh, but what I felt there like was, how can you even explain that? I don't even know. Yeah, it's just a deep, it's like a completion, a sense of completion in the core. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can share too, like, the night that you messaged me and I was, you know, moving through a lot of upsets in mm -hmm. regards to what you shared, God gave me a visual, and although I didn't have the full awareness of, like you did, that it was, that it was you, mm -hmm. um, God did give me a visual, and in the visual, it was like, I had, it was my heart. And then my core, and in my core, it was very clearly that, yes, it was you. Mm -hmm. um, and in that core, there was a sense of, yeah, it was like peace. Like, it, like just something had come together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It felt totally different. Like, yeah. it was just a new um, sense of, I don't know, sense of being. Yeah. Like I told you, I went to the grocery store, and was it Saturday, I think? Yes. And I was like. I'm in harmonious union. I'm a walking in the store right now. And like, <laughs> I, I never walked in the store in harmonious union before. It's like doing new things. Like just, it's yeah. like your reality. Um, it completely shifted. That's how it felt yeah. for me. Like everything was not the way that it was before. It was completely new. Yeah. And there was a, a fulfillment in that. Um, whereas before it felt like there was a little bit of, maybe like a little bit of emptiness or yeah 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 yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, it feels totally different and mm -hmm. yeah and now it's we're kind of making steps you know towards like mm -hmm. our shared life I mean yes yeah. Just in the short amount of days um, we've already discussed Adam lives in Norway which is probably like a 17, 18 hour flight from Arkansas yeah. in the, in the state. So can you, can you imagine Arkansas of all the states? <laughs> welcome. Welcome to Arkansas. But Adam is, yeah, Adam is going to be moving to Arkansas to move in with me. Um, we don't know when that's going to happen, but it, we're just like letting God guide it and letting it unfold. Um, yeah, that's kind of like where we're at in developing a friendship. Yeah. Although we've had we've had a friendship, we're, we're going deeper into that now that yeah. everything has been revealed and um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. yeah, yeah. What else, Adam? <laughs> Do you have anything uh, else to add to it? I'm trying to think if I. Hmm. feels complete to me right now. I don't know. Yeah, I, I feel pretty complete too. Um, yeah, there's going to be more shares, more videos, because it's going to continue to unfold from here. Yeah. I think everything that we shared, it feels really good. To, yeah, it does. Yeah. Yeah, it feels like important to share as well. Like I felt like a... Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like a pull to share, yeah. I did too. I felt it very strongly um, yesterday and I was like, okay, we've got to get this done. Um, yeah. God was very clearly guiding 
guiding us to share. And this is like new for you because you don't normally make videos. This is like, no. Mm -mm. Yeah. yeah, it's been like that is, to be seen for me, like especially in the past, it's been very, uh, very hard, extremely hard. But I felt like after we came into Harmonious Union, like I'm, it's just shifted. Like um, we have to do this. This is what we're supposed to do. And yeah. Yeah, it's yeah. the gift of that Jeff and yeah. Shalia, yeah, so yeah, continue to share. Yeah. And it feels good to share. It feels good to, to yeah, yeah just express. And um, yeah. this is for everyone. Harmonious Twin Flame Union is for everyone. And like looking back on the journey, you just choose love. Mm -hmm. And yeah, there was some sticky spots in there, like, you know, moving through upsets and wounds core wounds things that come up but at the end of the day like choosing love is very simple attaining your harmonious union is very very simple and it's not i can t i can say too like i always thought harmonious union was going to be something that was very exciting or very um i just had an image or an yeah. attachment to an image of or feeling of what i felt it might be like but it's not that yeah. It's mm -hmm. just a very deep sense of peace and it feels very normal. And mm -hmm. it was just a, a, like everyone else has said, it's like a slight shift and something that's just always, it's always been there. Mm -hmm. It's very peaceful, very grounded. It's not, it's not some party. I mean, yeah. yeah. No, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Choose love. Yeah. Just choose yeah. love. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you feel complete here, Adam? I do. So do I. So yeah. Thank you everyone for watching and we'll be back to share more.